U.S.-China tech war, Shenzhen to establish international sourcing platform for semiconductors as global chip shortage persists. The Shenzhen sourcing strategy will enable partner firms to band together and gain greater leverage in negotiating for equipment, components, and raw materials. Under that plan, Shenzhen will also serve as a major location for procurement, software development, branding, training, and other related services. Before we continue, if you like what we talk about on this channel and if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I'll give you a few seconds to do that and then we'll continue. China will develop an international sourcing platform for semiconductors and other electronic components in Shenzhen, known as the country Silicon Valley and the richest city in southern Guangdong province, in a bid to advance the nation's high-tech self-sufficiency drive amid a race between Beijing and Washington to overcome the global chip shortage. The goal is to engage various companies involved in the semiconductor and electronic industries around the world, including manufacturers and distributors, as partners in the Envision Global Platform in Shenzhen, according to the strategy announced recently by State Economic Planner, the National Development and Reform Commission NDRC, and the Minister of Commerce. China will support electronics and chip companies to set up shop on the platform, enabling these firms to encourage domestic and overseas clients to purchase electronic components and various types of chips through the same resource according to the government's plan. By choosing Shenzhen, we aim to establish replicable and scalable innovations around relaxed market access restrictions to explore a more flexible and scientific policy and system of management to build a better socialist market economy, said Zhao Sheng. Xin, Secretary General of the NDRC, in a press conference recently. The southern metropolis, which President Xi Jinping handpicked to become a world-class innovation powerhouse and model for economic reform, will also serve as a major location for procurement, software development, branding and training, among a range of services according to the plan. With key online and physical infrastructure in place, the government expects companies operating in Shenzhen to band together and gain greater leverage in negotiating for equipment, components, and raw materials. The Shenzhen-based sourcing strategy, according to the NDRC, will also entail support from China's customs authorities and financial institutions to provide import and export documentation, logistics, and other related cross-border services for every company using the proposed trading platform. The plan highlights Xi Jinping's strong belief that Shenzhen would become an important engine of growth for a Greater Bay Area Development Zone, as the city pushes reforms in line with China's tech self-sufficiency strategy. Under the 14th five-year plan from 2021 to 2025, released by the Shenzhen government in June 2021, the local economy is forecast to reach 4 trillion yuan, 632 billion US dollars, by the end of that period, up from 2.8 trillion yuan in 2020. Shenzhen, known as the country's original test bed for market opening reforms, is home to many large Chinese technology companies, including video gaming and social media giant Tencent. Tencent, drone manufacturer DJI and telecommunications equipment maker Huawei and ZTE. It's also the location for a major integrated circuit plant of Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corp SMIC and the largest manufacturing complex on the mainland for Taiwanese firm Foxconn and the Longhua Science and Technology Park. The government's latest strategy for Shenzhen, however, comes at a time when the global chip shortage continues to disrupt a wide swathe of industries worldwide from makers of toys, home appliances, gaming consoles and smartphones to manufacturers of medical devices, cars and aircraft. Recently, the US Commerce Department said the global semiconductor shortage will persist until at least second half of 2022. U.S. officials plan to investigate claims of possible price gouging for chips used by car makers and manufacturers of medical devices, according to Commerce Secretary Gene Raimondo. Information gathered by the U.S. agency from more than 150 companies in the semiconductor supply chain shows there is a significant persistent mismatch in supply and demand for chips, Raimondo said. On the same day, U.S. House of Representatives finalized sweeping legislation meant to boost U.S. competition with China. U.S. President Joe Biden said that the proposals within the America Competes Act of 2022 would help bring back manufacturing jobs to the country, ease supply chain bottlenecks within the semiconductor industry and help tackle the climate crisis. Just before you leave, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing, of course, if you like the things we talk about on this channel.
Thank you. Till next time. Bye.